Hey everybody, Juan Morales here, and I have bought the product that came out recently on Digital Think called Mux Email, and it is a fantastic deal. But before I even got it, I wanted to make sure that all my stuff with Amazon SES was on point and that everything would work out the way I wanted it to. Now, when I got started, and if you go into Amazon services and all this stuff and you come in, your production access is set to sandbox only. And this is one of the key steps. So what I did, and this is why I wanted to show you this screen, is I said, use case description. You know, I, I wrote a very short thing. And of course, it got rejected right away. So this is inside of Amazon. This is Amazon support. You can see that I wrote here at 11.20 one day um, to raise the SES sending limits. And I wrote this like small thing and, and put a website and all that. So right off the bat, and you can see here that this was like five seconds later, um, they wrote me back saying that they couldn't do it because they don't have inf uh, enough information and they asked more stuff, right? They wanted to know uh, how you maintain recipient list, manage bounces, complaints, and unsubscribe requests and so on. So, and they requested examples of the email, right? So what I did is I wrote this text and this is really what I wanted to share with you guys, right? So the first thing is that I... I wrote basically with the intention, I am planning to contact clients who have subscribed to one of my paid courses as well as clients who subscribe to my free courses. I exposed something about the size of the list, which in this case is not really true, but I just wanted to give them something to start with this. And I told them where I was acquiring leads from. Then I told them that I intend to email some of these users on a daily basis, the most engaged ones that have requested this, and others on a less frequent basis. All my leads come in because they are interested in learning, right? I'm basically trying to say no cold emails here. Uh, my idea is to connect with these clients regularly to not only deepen the relationship with them, but also to deliver instructions and content via email. Okay, so here, bounces, unsubscribes, and complaints will be handled by a system we got called Mux Email that connects with Amazon SES. Also, we don't mail anyone who's not engaging with the list. People who haven't opened an email in the past 30 days received barely e any emails at all. And this is something that Mux email does with un, uh, inactive subscribers. I think it, it's what it's called in there. But anyway, I just put it th there um, in that way. And then I did, here's a sample email. And I literally put the subject line and I copy pasted an email that I have. Now, this was at 11.34 a.m. Um, that evening by 10, 10 p.m., right? I got the email from them saying, hello, thank you for submitting, blah, blah, blah. Here's a new sending quota. So I just wanted to make a short video to tell you guys of the cases um, that that happened when open up opening up this SES thing because it's a one-time issue because you need to get them to approve you. But I, what I found is very easy as long as you tell them these things. And I, I realized that the most important thing is for this because they don't have any other way for you to do this. And if we just say that this is Mux email that connects with Amazon SES and I believe I saw in some other post that it's like an approved partner or something like that. And maybe the developers can comment on this video and, and add their own uh, sort of copy on it. But in any case, I'm going to uh, put this video up on the Facebook group. And then I'm going to put the content that I put for my email as a, the first comment on that one. So you guys can, you know, feel free to copy paste it or even put on your own um other ways of doing it and, and probably the developers can put another way of doing it so that this becomes a non-issue for everybody there. Till next time, Juan Morales signing out. I'll see you. Bye-bye.